We've got Mathis and Daniel and an egg, just kidding, it's Ryan. They're playing video games. Shut up, it's about to start! King Boo's bounce house, everybody. By gun treads. The world Untreads. record is a minute 58, so this is a long one. Out it's only game. been played by seven people, and it's only been cleared by one person. Hey, so you're saying you got a one in seven chance. Three, a two, chance. one. Good luck, boys. I, but I, if you look at Gun Tread's avatar, the stare is scaring me a little bit. You see that? He's got it's that kind of... It's your long-lost uh, evil twin. He's, he's got the F me eyes. Um, bite me? Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I... Dude. That's honestly kind of an insulting checkpoint. Already at the checkpoint? That's too early for a checkpoint. You gotta go a little bit harder than that. Um, did Oops. you have to jump, um, throw jump this one? I don't believe so, no. You have to throw the trampoline on the other trampoline. Uh... Then wait for a high bounce, which is... I'm having a real S or get off the pot moment right now. But <laughs> Are you trying to do the same thing? I made it to the checkpoint, but okay. it, I, did, I waited a long time. <laughs> I don't know. You think you need to use the spring for this one? I think you do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> God. Yo, this is, uh, I like, I, honestly, I appreciate an obstacle that is, uh, not on-off switches having to be hit in rapid succession. This is, like, is the new, it's a new style platforming challenge that I can get behind. Springs, in my opinion, are underutilized. I feel like most of the time you see them in quote-unquote highfalutin Mario Maker levels, the spring is like, oh, a shell hits a sideways spring, and then you use an on-off switch to ricochet the shell into a breakable block. All those future oh, engineers. Like, after doing that, it sends a beanstalk down that you can climb up. This one's just like, hey, the spring's in its natural habitat. It I'm having a hard up. time getting over the double spring obstacle, honestly. I'm getting on the high jump, but I just don't have the momentum to make it over Big Boy Ghost. Mm. I would say you can tell it's it's a tough level when the when the banty's pretty quiet. Well, you know I'm, what I mean? that's what like I, I'm kind of trying to go. keep the engine going. Yeah. But then historically, that's burned me pretty bad because I find myself talking to myself for 35 or 40 seconds, and then both <laughs> of you guys scream "time" in my ear. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm <laughs> I'm kind of wondering whether no, whether I haven't even got the checkpoint yet. The, whether the juice is worth the squeeze on that one. But you already got checkpoint, right, Ryan? Yes, correct, yes. Yeah, so. I am in checkpoint as well. Yeah, I'm not even. But is that how we should structure our society, Daniel? So that the people who are not uh, furthest <laughs> ahead have... Uh, no. they, they get a little advantage while the people that are further ahead have to wait for them? <laughs> I don't know, you tell me, Ryan. You live in Vancouver. <laughs> <laughs> what, are there mayors? What are your mayors called? Are they called mayors? They are called mayors, yes. Do you have any... Without math is turning this into a political discussion. So do you have any like unique <laughs> names? I know I know your person's called the premier. Is that right? Yeah, I mean, it's not really unique. It's based on the British parliamentary system that's existed uh, since like the, you know, 1700s or something. Well, when I say unique, I mean not American. I know. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm familiar with the American parlance. <laughs> I'm trying. I guess I should just run jump this. <clears throat> I I mean I shouldn't even give you the keys, but it's no, in my no, nature. Don't. I'm a very generous man. No, don't, don't don't let your Canadianism well, gonna, take so over. So I can take credit for your victory. But um, you put the spring at the end of the platform, and then when the ghosts pass by, you jump on it and bounce over them. Yeah, that's you what might I'm not trying even to do. But... Put it in the ghost ring, but oh, I don't put sure. it in the ghost. I put it and put it outside of it. I don't know if that's actually what you're supposed to do, but. Well, I mean, I've made it through the obstacle, but, you know, you can chart your own course. <laughs> your mileage may vary. So, I don't think we've talked about this, but, and I, you know, Ryan knows my stance on it, but I'm interested to hear Mathis's. Since okay. we last talked, the, the Marvel Universe has expanded uh, 10x exponentially to the 17th power. Mathis, what's your take on that? 
I mean, I really like the Marvel movies, so I'm game. Bring it they on. They keep making them good, dude. Yeah. Have you watched ev every single one, Mathis? The only one I haven't seen is the newest Spider-Man. That's up there. I just it's heard it's great. I just haven't had the time. And that's no longer Facebook guy. That's another new Spider-Man. Facebook? Yes. Guy? Because the what? Facebook guy ones were made by Sony and they sucked. Oh. So oh, you mean Andrew Garfield, I'm assuming? Yeah. Oh, yeah, those were terrible. You rem you might remember him as uh, the Facebook guy, a.k.a. <laughs> not Mark Zuckerberg, but, <laughs> but Mark Zuckerberg's friend <laughs> from the movie The Social Network. <laughs> I just never saw The Social Network. So. Oh, now that's a movie, oh. dude. The Social Network would be in the top eight or nine Marvel films for sure. <laughs> that's a great movie. Oh, daddy! Here's, here's my thing about the Marvel stuff. I don't, like, I honestly do not care if people don't like the Marvel stuff. As long as if they're vocal about hating it, they've at least seen some of it. But what ends up happening so much of the time is people have not seen, you know, they've seen like four out of 20 movies, but they just think they're too smart. Or they think implicitly the fact that there's so many of them means that they must be bad. When really, it's almost like the opposite. I think they keep making more. They, obviously, they make a lot of money as well. But because they actually end up being, like, the best superhero movies that have ever come out. Except for maybe, like, X2, which is also very good. X2 is so a classic. I need to clear the record of this. I do not hate the Marvel Universe. I get, I get some giggles out of ripping it a little bit. Mm. But I will heavy debate that... Because I'm not a, in general, I'm not a superhero guy. However, I believe to be empirically 100% objectively correct that the Dark Knight is the greatest. I do the Dark Knight Dark is Knight really is really a plus great. material. It might be the best superhero movie of all time. Still, what from the Marvel MC universe goes toe to toe with it in a 12 round prize fight? Here's Realistic. the thing: you can't Nothing. compare them. Oh, oh, a time. Ooh. Ooh, that was a surprise. This level is very short. Um. I, here's the thing. Stand alone, I think The Dark Knight might be better than anything Marvel's ever made. However, like, I, here's how I talk about Endgame. Endgame is one of the best experiences I've had in a movie theater, for sure. It, as a movie, is great, I think. It, as the culmination of, like... Ten years? Yeah, a decade of well-done, you know, cinematic universe creation is unbelievable. Like, that movie is better because of the fact that it has 10 years back in it up, is basically Cor what I would say 110% correct. Oh, 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 I died at the guy before the checkpoint. <laughs> Sorry. No, so I Time? think that's, that's fair. Um, you know what I mean? Like, it's... You're looking at it from a macro level, you have all these pieces in place from a 10-year work of art. Yeah, versus... I'm trying to... There must be, like, video game examples where, like, you know... If, were it not for the games that came before it, you would not have the same kind of like goodwill about a, a sequel, maybe. If that like makes Mario sense. Maker. I don't think that makes. I don't think that metaphor <laughs> no, really like, makes sense. No, but like we would appreciate sense. Mario Maker if we didn't all play these games as a kid. Yeah. Okay. I see. No. That. I, I think that makes sense. Because I don't know what else it could be. It's just. Uh... Oh, okay. Cool. I, I don't want to play this a, ever. I, I don't, I don't think that was this a one. Again. A one point three. <laughs> Clear, right? I told you we're very good at Mario Maker relative to the average person. What do you, what do you guys think that clear rate sh uh, should be? That'll probably be. I bet that'll be. If it's gonna be in double digits, it'll be low, right? Like oh, dude, I was 11. thinking like two or three. You like, think I don't so? Think yeah, I don't think that's gonna be a a double digit. Are we at the sixty one D? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I just honestly, I felt like the first jump, the first double jump to the checkpoint was the hardest. Enter the lost underground temple and escape with its riches. Cross eyed. 3.71. You guys ready? Yeah. yeah. A three, a two, one. Ryan, just quick score update. Ryan Gary has three. Daniel has two. Mathis has one. The, my my kind of like last point, and this isn't even just about Marvel, it's about like anything. Yeah. It's just like 
if you like dislike something and have not interfaced with it, I really don't care. It's like the easiest opinion of all time to have. Oh yeah. So if you're like, you know, well, I think this thing is, this thing I haven't seen, I have a preconceived notion that it's bad. That's cool, dude. I don't know who you are. The, the opinion, it, it doesn't necessarily matter to me. I'm more interested in the opinion of somebody who saw it and was like, I hated it. I would love to know why you hated it. And same thing for people who love it. I'd love to know why you love it. But if you're like, I haven't seen it, but I think it sucks. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> It's That's also annoying, and I, I've said this uh, too many times to count, but that, like, I am a snob, and I go see indie movies, and I go see, you know, foreign films, and, you know, underappreciated stuff, and uh, people are like, oh, you're like a, a Disney shill, basically, and I'm like, well, I, I've been seeing all these art house movies, what have you been doing? And they're like, ah, I just wait until I can pirate it for free. <laughs> <laughs> it just is annoying to me that... You know, if, if you're gonna be a snob, go the whole way and actually, like, put your money where your mouth is and see brave movies. Don't just yell at people for watching stuff that Disney makes, whether it's competent or not. I think it's a good level, boys. I, I'm, I'm having, having some trouble it? getting back, but Oh, I we think, have to get uh, back. Oh, right, duh, of course we have to get back. Oh, no, no! Slow. Got points on the line here. No, I'm the same way, but, like, I... Generally speaking... I don't know someone that would give an opinion without having formed one by mm. experience. You know? I understand, but also I'm like, for me, that's like the internet 101. Oh. Uh, this is just like, you know, people form opinions on things. And I, you know, I'm guilty of it too, for sure. I mean, there's like, I, I saw trailers for movies and I was like, dude, that movie's gonna blow. But if somebody went and saw it and was like, hey, actually that movie about the dog that's a car racer is really good. I would be like, you know what? I'm skeptical, but at the same time, I haven't seen it and you have, so. Oh, Mr. Rogers movie though? Oh, I'm, I'm excited for that. Ten out time? Of ten. Ooh, oh, nice. That is... The real Mr. Rogers though is uh, Steve Rogers, is Captain America, so. I'm just saying. So, I, just not to circle back to uh, Marvel, but I need to know because I watched half of that movie. Yeah. So he has, I don't think we've talked about this, but I don't remember. He had, he was CGI'd small. Is that right? In the first Captain America? You I, I yeah. believe that's the case. I believe that is okay. correct, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think like he's also a little CGI'd big, to be fair. Like, uh -huh. I think, you know, if you watch like Captain America um, Civil War, there's like a scene where Chris Evans uh, uses his bicep to hold a helicopter. Oh, yes, of course. Taken off. And I'm like, dude. Chris Evans, he's in amazing shape. Don't get me wrong. But I don't think that's fully his bicep. There's something, there's some makeup or there's some, you know, CGI going on there to make the super serum muscles. I don't know. Pop. You can see the behind the scenes of that scene. And he's like ripped as hell. I know he's ripped, but that's like... Look at that arm. Go find a still of that arm and tell me that's Chris. <laughs> if, if it is, I do it. I'm not hating. Chris Evans holding helicopter so, CG. I don't know. I don't know if this is, this isn't not Doc's material, but so uh, this girl from my high school that I was friends with, she was dating him. Oh, oh really? Like and friends, then and he was good for her. cast uh, in one of the things Captain America, and, and then they broke up like a month later. Oh, oh right. Uh, maybe she was wrong. a DC fan. Oh, really? I think <laughs> You know yeah, what? I found a video called Chris Evans explains, explains bulging biceps and helicopter scene in Captain America Civil War. Okay. You try and get those scenes listening. as early on in, in, in filming as possible because you, you gradually Biceps shed are there if you believe them. Uh, he said, uh, so those scenes were filmed pretty much right at the very start of the, of the filming for that movie because as the movie goes on, you gradually lose weight. So those were done right away when he was at peak, peak performance, peak shape. Okay, I mean, I do believe that, but also, I'm like, come on. you tell telling me there wasn't a CGI editor that was like, we could just touch this up, improve the shadows a little bit, and make that make that son of a gum bulge. Like, for <laughs> he actually messed seeing... up his arm, he said, in that scene. Me, hey, well, uh, what do you mean what... he messed up his arm? He's not actually holding the helicopter. Yes, no, there was a helicopter there. You're telling me that Chris Evans was holding the helicopter. Granted, and it tried the helicopter to take wasn't off. technically <laughs> trying to get away, but there was a scene there with, and he was holding onto a helicopter and onto the side of a, 
a set building and was was like pulling as hard as he could. The helicopter wasn't trying to actually take That's off. That's I was like, come on. <laughs> but there was he wasn't holding on to like a he wasn't trying to hold he wasn't holding on to like a green screen prop. The articles do say Chris I, Evans biceps in Civil War they were all real. Um, I I told you. Dude, so so for us auditory impressive. listeners, could you give us a comparative substance? I'm still working on level that his <laughs> biceps were the size of. Um, I mean, they just look like big old biceps. I mean, know, like melons or honeydew or I mean, bowling balls. Um, closer you know, to bowling balls, a, maybe? I don't know. It is not close to a bowling ball. Closer <laughs> than a melon is. No, it just looks like, I don't know. I don't know. It looks like just, the dude insane. works out. Yeah, and also got injected with a super serum <laughs> to turn him into America's <laughs> greatest hero. Like Hulk Hogan? I don't know, dude. Nothing. No, <laughs> what What is the shape of a bicep? It's like a It's like a flat I banana. Know. You know. Who Good won job, that one? Dan. Mathis won that one. He did. Yeah. yeah. I like that one. Here, Dan. I'll throw it in our chat if you want to go look at some pictures. Yeah. Well, hopefully, it just pops up, so I don't have to click it. Now, I gave you just like a Google image search, but I'll just visit an actual image. All right. What's our next one? Uh, the next one is the. Miss Brown. The Vel, I guess. Brown. Yeah, Miss Brown. Why yep. you say IG at the end? Because I got to give Miss Brown a shout out. Her boyfriend made this and she slid it into my Instagram DMs. Uh, I appreciate it. She's like, hey, right. play this. And I think she's going to earn some brownie points. Not that she should with her boyfriend. To be open yeah, in your two-way <laughs> street. Who does your boyfriend think he is? Chris Evans? Ooh, 2.9%. The Vel <laughs> 1-1. Daquan with the world record. You guys ready? I'm ready. I am ready. Quick score up, they go. Uh, Ryan three, Daniel two, Mathis two. Does Velgarder look sad to you guys? He does look a little maybe tired. maybe. Yeah. Ooh, eight bit, eight bit. Let's get mushy or skip the mushy. Got oh, the mushy. Always, if you're going for a world record, you got to get the mushy. I'm dead. I understand. <laughs> I've seen this obstacle before. This is Austin's first level. Oh. Okay, we're good. Oh, oh, it's it's no! Oh, it's <laughs> Mega Man. Man. It's Mega what Man. What the? No, that's. Let's Matt hear it, Matt. This ring over the boo button. <laughs> no, no, I'm good. We ain't we ain't yeah. doing it yet. We ain't doing it yet. I fell in a rush because I had the bombs, not the bombs, but uh, bonsai bills chasing me, and I shouldn't have rushed. Okay. Okay. Uh, we got a little challenge here. I will always equate disappearing blocks to Mega Man. That's the first time it's ever been used in human history. Nice. I was so close to making it through the door. I just I got mind flooded. Not not by Dan speaking, but oh. by the budding, budding. A hash but brown. No, the the on off switch with the shells. Uh -huh. I think you gotta have a certain kind of brain to make a level with on-off shells. Uh-oh. We got try-hard mode enabled. I respect it. I'll carry this right now. So... Oh, I'm dead. God! Cowardice! <laughs> I got trapped in the blocks at the door. Oh, it's my own fault. I should have jumped higher. Luigi. God! And then I keep hesitating at this pit of lava and falling in it. Oh. Wow. Yeah, the very beginning. Oh, okay. So Ryan and Mathis, I was so close today. The closest I've ever been to pulling the trigger on buying cold brew coffee instead of normal. Oh, yeah. But I didn't because I didn't want it to taste bad. Cold brew does not taste bad. And Kate was just... telling me that on your stream, you were like, I don't understand cold brew coffee. Well, it's like the same thing. You're telling me the temperature makes a difference that much of a difference. I had to explain to her that as someone who lives in the Midwest, you get uh, all of the cool stuff third after both coasts, and as a result, <laughs> you have a position of understandability to be innately skeptical of all cool new things. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna deserve, like, we barely got Uber Eats or whatever it's called. DoorDash? Austin Dash? Austin Dash? Oh, door me, door me! Did you guys get door yet? Yes. Oh, okay. But I'm pretty much sucking right after that. All right, there, yeah, I doored it as well. Is there a chubby after that? Like, well, there is, depends but on I what you're looking think... at. 
Chubby 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 me personally, I was, I was a little excited. <laughs> Have oh. either of you guys played the NES? Well, I'm gonna guess Ryan, no, Mathis, maybe. I don't want to answer for you, Ryan. You guys ever played the NES classic Kid Icarus? Time, by the way. Ooh. Yes. Did you beat it? Yes. I never beat a Kid oh, Icarus. No. Oh. Ryan, have you ever played it? Uh, I have played Kid Icarus, but uh, I think I was a little... I didn't play it when I was young, and as a result, when I played it, I was kind of like, this is not... Good. By modern standards, it doesn't necessarily hold up, I guess. Especially when you're like 14, you're like, you know, where's where's the heat? It's not bringing any heat. It's just a the only heat is on the soundtrack. Oh, I'm done. So the only heat is where? On the soundtrack. What about the eggplants though? I don't even remember, honestly. All I remember is it's kind of like ice climbers, right? It's like single screen puzzle. No, oh, there's like dungeons. They're <laughs> like zero action. Yeah. Got a banger soundtrack. They they had a mechanic where if you ran into a, a guy would throw an eggplant at you, and if it landed Time. on your head, ooh, nice. You would have it was like Spelunky mechanic that they stole. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was. That's uh, the exact. No, I, I, mean, I believe yeah. you. Yeah. All right, I got some problems here. Do you guys? So you guys have to wait for the turtle shell to get in the the door. What turtle shell? The you mean the turtle. thing that's that's doing the bouncing back and forth? The flying turtle. It helps, I think. I don't know if okay. it's necessary. Yeah. I will say, Daniel, you have... I, I don't want to be judgmental here. Yeah. You have what I would consider to be a bad habit in Mario, which yes. is that if you fail an obstacle, like, one or two times, <laughs> you're guilty of starting to look for, like, oh, there must be some kind of, like, hack way to do it, like... <laughs> <laughs> Not a hack, but like, hey, I don't. Oh, I have to. I missed this jump. I guess you have to spin jump it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't. You're trying to galaxy brain answer. it too much. Yeah, sometimes you just, you know, you just miss the obstacle, you know. But on this one, there's like two consecutive red jumps for the key are. So what do you do on that? I I don't want to answer the question because I don't want to play into the narrative that there's a trick to the level. But, okay, it's giving you a pattern, and then it changes the pattern. Right. So that there is a trick. Well, I don't know if I'd call it a trick as much as, you know, the way. I also feel like you're making it harder on yourself by going for the coin when you don't have to go for the coin. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I went for the coin every single time, Ryan. Yes, Gary. I think that would be, that's the trick, is that the coin is, is harder. Oh. Makes sense. What'd you guys think of this level? I'm still working I on liked it. it. I liked it. Short and sweet. Oh, I'm, I'm trying for the WR. Me too. It's I think it's very doable. I mean, I think it's doable to beat a Deathless. I don't know what the timing situation is like, but... I also feel like you can leverage the mushroom to maybe take damage in the switch puzzle to save yourself a few seconds. Mm, yeah, that makes sense, actually. I'm like 10 seconds off still. Did you do a deathless? Yeah. Ugh. And you're still 10 seconds off? Yep. Oh, screw that then. <laughs> <laughs> Life's too short for those kind of shenanigans. I'll go three more attempts and then you guys want to start working on the next one. It's a good I level. Think, yeah, I think I can beat it. I just don't want to hold up the production. But if you don't beat it, you get a minus one. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Who won this one? Uh, Ryan. Ooh. Yeah. Mathis, you could have tied it for first place right there. I tried. I tried real hard. Next one is Miss Brown. No, wait. That was oh, the last one. That's what we just did. Next one is Merc. I trust that. Any name I recognize, I trust. All right, last attempt here. I, I really like this level, but I'm production value. I want to keep it moving here. Not very understandable. All right, this one has a... 11% clear rate. Yeah, that is pretty good. Goombud good Grotto. On, I'm not even being facetious here. You have to keep in mind, we're much better than your average Mario Maker player, and that's not even, like, there's no joke there at all. all right. I'll take it. I'll take the, the compliments. Like, if something has an 11% clear rate, I think I'll probably, like, on average, I would assume I would die four or five times at most, which, would, like, that makes you twice that. How many, how many Mario Makers, uh, Mario Maker players, rather, do you think quit after, like, two or three deaths and are just like, I'm done with this level? In Endless, I think a lot of people do. 
That's Mostly fair. Because I am that person. Yeah, I was gonna say when when there's lives on the line and you're trying for like a roguelike run type thing. All right, I'm good. I'll give it two or three and I'm out. Three, two, one. I'm, I'm not ready. Oh, oh, I just hit. I'll sorry, pause. I'll pause. You, yeah, I'll pause. I thought you guys were all waiting for me. So I'm very not. I see why you like Merc. He's from Canada, so. I I recognize the name. Uh, somebody's been in the community for a while. All right, I am started but not moving. So three, okay. two, one, go. Good luck, boys. I gotta Good remind luck. me. I gotta mark your your win too. It, it honestly, like, I'm not really that concerned about it. Oh, you should be. <laughs> I, I already know uh, where I stand. What I, I was gonna say, I think this is maybe the most competitive game in terms of the skill gap being the smallest between all of us. Compared to what else? Other Tarkov? stuff we've played over the past 10 years. Yeah, but we're, in Tarkov, we're like, we're teams. No, I'm not, I'm saying like all the time. We've played all, Tournament of Shame, we, the three of us have played a lot of stuff together. And the skill gap is pretty, not this tight, in my opinion. <laughs> Or you guys feel free to disagree because you're tryharding, which I respect. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I just feel like I'm probably the best at all the stuff. Right. <laughs> Maybe if we played Zomboid, yeah, this might have a chance. <laughs> Zomboid's not competitive, though. Mm, it's pretty competitive. Oh, time, by the way. It's pretty competitive oh, time. <laughs> oh, wow, to see if we can actually get the server browser to work. <laughs> no offense. Oh, I f are you oh I'm, I'm so mad at myself. Ryan's taking a hearty three-point lead over Mathis and I. He's got five. That's a good level. I am, I'm going for the WR. Ooh, okay. But actually, the world record on this one was, it seems pretty tight. What was your time? I had 52. Yeah, I don't know. It was it was around there. I wonder if like actually getting the Yoshi is the way. Like, did you guys pursue that path? I didn't even know that was Yoshi. possible to yeah. do it. Well, all right. I mean, I saw literally in the, the beginning, description but... it says three coins equals Yoshi, but... Oh, well, I haven't gotten three coins yet, so... <laughs> you guys want to move on? Oh, I guess we should call it, to be honest. I am not done with this level. I know. Oh, I thought you said... I died one time, and that was... That'll, I have to do the whole do thing it. again. Sorry, it gives me time to show off uh, the files of Dr. Yee again. That's what you, you, that's what you this is all for, there. Really. You will, you will. Dude, it's so flattering. 64,000 plays of this level. What? I know, that's 64, it's insane. 64,000? No. 64,000, well, I don't know, not 64,000 players, but 64,000 runs. Runs, yeah. I gotta see if I liked it. I'm going to my liked versus. Oh, it is, yeah. You know, yeah. no, no hard feelings if you did. So 4,200, I did give it a hard, 4,200 players, 64,000 runs. Yeah. All right, that's, that's amazing. I'll do a little redo of Dr. Yeet. Oh, the muscle memory is there, if you believe. Ryan, on the way back, that last jump is what put a pin in me a lot. On the way back. All right, right. I finally timed it, because I'm terrible. You're talking about... Uh, when you move right to left? Left to right the second time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All well, right. that's, I, I specifically designed that so that you couldn't go as fast as possible, just to mess with people. Yeah. Just to be a, just to be a troll. <laughs> Is that it for this episode? Yeah. Uh, hold on, I'm on the files of Dr. Yeet trying to do a death. You have to show that off like one per episode, once per episode? Excuse me, sir. He's trying to what? get he's trying to get it to 100k plays, which I think he can do. Oh, I died. Especially with, with me playing it too. I, right. I didn't believe, so I died. Well, we can call it here. I mean, but I'm doing eat right now. Well, okay. call it, call it, call it. Call it. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. We'll be back with another one tomorrow. For now, thanks for watching. Uh, check out multiple perspectives. Click the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more Mario Maker. If we don't get. 100,000 likes on this episode, we're not going to put on every video, <laughs> each one individual. We're going to cancel the series. Sorry, dude, you left me with no choice. Um, for now, though, <laughs> see you next time. <laughs> Bye.